Hi everyone. I wanted to just spend a few moments to just recite the Reiki precepts for all of you. Now not everybody in this group has done Reiki training before and there are some Reiki precepts or guidelines that we use to help us live by our little guidelines and a precept is an affirmation or a principle and we use the Reiki precepts uh, I teach those in my workshops but we use them to say morning and night so that we can start to look at things a little bit differently and start to shift our consciousness so the Reiki precepts we just normally would bring our hands into prayer position in front of the heart morning and night and just recite them recite them nice and easily and we would simply say just for today I let go of anger just for today I let go of worry just for today I count my many blessings just for today I do my work honestly and just for today I'll be kind to my neighbor and every living thing and of course every living thing includes you so throughout our 21 days I want you to really start to focus on taking that time out to connect with yourself to do the work on yourself to shift your consciousness and know that you deserve and know that you are worthy we use these little precepts as a way of just changing some of those subconscious belief patterns and as we start to really understand them and let them sink into our consciousness they become a new way of responding to life instead of reacting so it's really about one day at a time just for today and in each moment we have the power to change our future so instead of getting angry we can take a breath and we can think in the scheme of a lifetime is this really worth me getting angry about remember anger is about um, feeling like somebody's hurt us and every emotion has a purpose it's about helping us take better care of ourselves. the purpose of anger is to help us make things fairer now if we can't make them fairer the only option we have available to us that works for us is just forgiveness so just today one day at a time start with each of these precepts or say them each in the morning say all of them or you, you might want to just work on the first one just for one day not to be angry the next precepts about letting go of worry now they say that we have over 60,000 thoughts a day the majority of those thoughts are negative self talk about the past or worry about the future however 99% of the things we worry about never actually happen and if we can spend our time being more conscious in the present moment we realize that we are safe we're all safe where we are right now and worry does not help any of those situations so instead of letting your mind go whirring around put it to good use think of what's going well in your life start to focus on that attitude of gratitude and let go of the worry and be present and know in this moment all is well the third precept is really about counting our blessings so just for today I count my many blessings and that is truly about us being grateful for the things that we do have knowing that through the law of attraction what we focus on we tend to to draw to us and if we can just be grateful for the little things then we'll find there'll be more things that will come into our awareness simply by our perceptions being focused on things to to find joy in the little gifts that come up to us from day to day for example right now i'm grateful for more of that beautiful rain since we've had such a long uh, a long summer and it started to rain again now as I'm sitting out here and that's perfect for me the next precept is just for today I do my work honestly and that does not just mean going to work nine to five doing your work means doing the best you can with what you've got and it means doing your work as ethical work not going out there and you know murdering whales or any of those things and it means that even if your work is simply being at home scrubbing a floor do it with joy do it with uh, a sense of peace and let that be your meditation do the best you can with what you've got in all things just for today do your work honestly in the way that you deal with your fellow human beings your family but that is what we have at this moment 
your friends that you're seeing online or listening to on the phone. Uh, be kind to those people and do that work honestly. And the, the final one, of course, is being kind to our neighbour and every living thing. And that simply means treating others the way we want to be treated. It is the one spiritual law that's been given by every spiritual master, by Jesus, by the Buddha, by all of the spiritual masters in their teachings. And it's probably the one thing that we haven't got till now. And I want you to think about that because through this time that uh, our, our world is changing, the one amazing thing that I'm seeing coming out of all of it is the kindness between uh, different people that probably never even stopped to say goodbye. Now I'm seeing people in the streets as they're fl flitting by on their way to get food or go to the chemist or, or whatever, just smiling at each other. And so these are just the little things that we can do. I'm also finding that we're all connecting more deeply on things like Facebook, but also with our family members, we're checking up on them to see how they're going. And all of these little things are about being kind to others. And remember, what we put out comes back tenfold. Do also remember that being kind to our neighbour and every living thing includes us, because we must first start with ourselves. Fill up your own cup and let it overflow. So don't ever feel from an empty cup. It's really about valuing yourself and knowing that you need to charge your batteries first before you can give to others. And as we learn to do this, we put boundaries in place. We teach others how to treat us differently. We treat ourselves differently and our experience of the world is a whole lot better. So have a beautiful uh, day. You can say these precepts in the morning, you can say them in the night time, and hopefully they will start to also shift your consciousness around the things that we're all going through at this this point in time. So one last time I'll recite, I'll recite the Reiki precepts. Just for today, I let go of anger. Just for today, I let go of worry. Just for today, I count my many blessings. Just for today, I do my work honestly. And just for today, I'll be kind to my neighbour and every living thing. Namaste. Namaste.